All right, guys, I got a special treat for you today. We are going to throw it back old school and show you some of these lures that came out whenever I was a kid growing up, and they were supposedly the most revolutionary new lures to come around. And some of you young bucks may not believe it, but back in the day we didn't have YouTube, and we had to rely on these infomercials. So these would, these TV commercials would pop up while we were watching Bill dance. And matter of fact, I got one queued up here. Let me just go ahead and play it for you. It is unlike any of a fishing lure in existence today, and you will be amazed at how easy it is to create the lifelike movement of a real live man, triggering genetic. So as most young kids did back in the day, we bought into it. We went out and purchased these lures. I can remember catching some fish on them, but I don't remember it being the most revolutionary lure I've ever seen. But I've decided to do a throwback video and go back and test some of these lures out. We also had the Roland Martin helicopter lure. That was another popular one back in the day. So I'm going to go out to the lake, test both of these lures out. We'll kind of show you how to rig them up. And then uh, this is just going to be a fun day of fishing. We're not out trying to catch any big bass. We're just out experimenting with some old throwback lures. Alrighty folks, beautiful fall day out here on the water. Got my fishing buddy Liz with me. We got some really good conditions. It, the temperature dropped off a good bit last night down into the 50s and we're about two days prior to this Hurricane Irma. So the conditions are really good. We got a low pressure system. The fish should be biting. We got our baits rigged up. We got a couple banjo minnows there at the top and then we have the helicopter lure here. So Liz, what are we gonna start out with? Uh, the banjo minnow. Banjo minnow, cue the banjo beat now. <laughs> All right, guys, we got seagulls. We're going to start off in the back of these little pockets. That's where the bass should be. Now that the weather's cooling off a little bit, they're going to start moving up a little shallower. So these little banjo minnows may actually imitate some of these shafts, and we may actually get some bites. Oh, had a bite there. Look at, look at the little bull right there. Here he is. Let him take it. Let him take it. Got him. Oh, nice one. This is a little chunky fish. He actually came up and hit it right there a second time. I missed him the first bite. Come on. Up here, buddy. That's a good way to start the day right there. Solid little three pound fish. just like it's supposed to. Hooked him right there in the top of the mouth. Cue that banjo beat. <laughs> That's a pretty fish right there, Annie. He? He's been eating some shad. Not crazy about this hook set up. Probably gonna miss some today, but he got that one in. One for the banjo. I know a lot of you guys probably recognize that house and that's one of the reasons I stopped here. It was because that time I had that bass blow up on the frog right when I was pulling out of the water, that was in a September. So this is kind of one of the areas that these bass use this time of year. So a couple things I've noticed about this banjo minnow. For one, it's kind of like a frog. You have to wait after the fish bites it. You need to give it a couple seconds before you set the hook, which is not typically like your other swim baits. And then it fishes pretty decent. You can kind of see here, you can reel it fast or you can fish it kind of like a flute bait and you know use it as a jerk bait and just kind of jerk it through the water but this color i'm using puts off a pretty good little shine so that should be good on a sunny day here we go got him not as big as the first one but hey we're starting to get some numbers on this thing. A little bit smaller, caught him out a little bit deeper. But it worked. Oh yeah, buddy. Got him? Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's like a pretty decent one too. 
Yep, bring him around the right side. Go around back to the left. There you go. You got a good one on this? Oh, yeah. He tricked us a little bit, but come back this way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she having fun. I'm pulling you around the boat. Got him in the side of the mouth. Liz's first fish on the it's banjo. Bigger. <laughs> yeah, uh, he pulled. I think Liz was about to give up on the banjo. <laughs> We've been at it for an hour. I've caught two. Here you go, I'll uh, hand it to you. And she's caught one, so three fish in an hour. Not amazing results, but at least it's working. There's a little isolated stump right out in the middle of the lake. That's where she caught that one. Oh, here we go. Man, he came up and smashed it. He can't have that hook very good. I watched him eat it. Come on around this way, buddy. Cue that banjo. <laughs> about it whenever they hit it this close to the boat. Alright, you ought to be about ready to come on in now. Got him on the bottom. Look at there. That's what you call barely having one hooked. Barely. Just by the little skin right there. That's about the same size and quality that we've been catching them today. But we'll take it. There's a lot of them chasing out here. There. Got him. Helicopter lure. <laughs> Got him on the helicopter lure. Pretty big blow up too. I like this lure. This is nothing, this is kind of like the original Whopper Popper. It's got that tail that spins around. Did the trick on that. Kind of like old buzz bait, Whopper Popper style. Oh, he came up and murdered it. I should have let him take it. Helicopter. There he is. Uh oh. What size do we have? Another small one. <laughs> These little pound, two, three pounders are just wearing this thing out today. Enjoyed it. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. We had fun out here catching fish with these old-time lures, the banjo minnow and the helicopter lure. This is something that we just wanted to get out here and do, have a good time out on the lake. If you enjoyed this style video and you want to see us test other old-timey lures, leave a comment down below. Or if you'd rather just see me and Liz get back, or Liz, get back to catching our 10-pounders, leave that comment down below. But we got a cool video coming up this Tuesday with our new pet bass that is vicious let me just go ahead and tell you guys something else you can also look forward to seeing on our channel here in the next month is the iCast award winner the Lunker Hunt Prop Series Frog and we also have the Terminator Walking Frog Jr. and the Prop Shad so we'll be giving you good reviews of that in the upcoming month and you can go check out these lures at our shop BamaFrogs.com Liz which one was your favorite out of the two? 
Cue the banjo. Thank <laughs> you.